I greet you, my fellow friends, in the name of Lord Christ Jesus of uh, Nazareth. I'm so very excited to be again here in front of you in uh, this early morning of uh, February 11, 2022. I have a good message to share with you, brothers and sisters, everywhere you are in the world. What I'm going to take to today, I'm going to uh, speak more about the danger of uh, some spirit in uh, our life. You are welcome, my fellow brothers and sisters. I'm praying you to share this uh, message with some other brothers and sisters out there. Also, you can subscribe on this uh, uh, TV. Africa app media 24 for you to be uh, receiving so uh, many good message while I'll be preaching here online my fellow friend I love you I love you a lot everywhere you are in the world I love you and uh, this message it's not as an attack or an insult or an accusation but this is a help this message comes to help some brothers and sisters who are in some worlds which they don't know more about or they are there ignorantly they don't understand what is going on there and why they found themselves in those worlds or why they join those kinds of groups this is the reason of uh, this uh, a message of uh, this morning february uh, 11 2022 i'm your lovely uh, friend master prophet afonso waralipes i'm just here around pocket section a number 11 in South Africa, you are most than welcome, brothers and sisters. I love you a lot and a lot. So, I wish only one thing from you give me your ears, watch, share, comment. help other brothers understand this message because it's so very helpful to many many friends out there let's find uh, our scripture or uh, this morning from the book of um, the Deuteronomy uh, chapter 18 we're going to read here from 9, as I said, I'm going to speak about the danger of uh, some spirit in our life, the danger of some uh, groups or some worlds. So, understand me carefully, my brothers and sisters. I beg you to listen carefully and share the message. Don't listen yourself. Don't watch yourself on YouTube or other social medias. Share. Collect other people, other friends, group many people, many friends together. Watch this video. It's so helpful and helpful, as I said, helpful in our life. So let's read here. Uh, Deuteronomy 18. Uh, from verse 9 it says here when you enter the land the Lord your God is giving you don't learn to imitate the, the stable ways of the nation there let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire 
who practices the divination or sorcery interprets arms engage in witchcrafts or cast spells or who is a medium or a spiritist or who consults the dead anyone who does the things is the test ball to the lord and because of this detestable practices the lord your god will drive out those nations before you you must be blameless before the lord your god thank you so very much brothers and sisters let's glorify jehovah let's praise him as a revealing and continue revealing the good messages to all of us. Let's glorify the spirit of her, Christ Jesus, for continuing being so kind to us. My fellow friends of the world, dear, understand me correctly, as I said, I'm going to speak about the danger of her some spirit the danger of uh, some spirit into our lives as you heard the scripture telling me and you about what god wants and doesn't want if you enter the land god gives you you too where you are What are you doing? Are you in witchery? Are you dealing with uh, some spirit uh, which you don't even understand? Are you in some certain group? Are you consulting the dead? Are you dealing with the mediums, wizard, some spiritists? This is a message and a good message to you, brothers and sisters. Let me and you continue imitating what god jehovah like not what he detests there is some sacrifices which some people doing due to getting money they're doing some ritual sacrificing their children to devil you listen here you heard yourself when you enter there, don't sacrifice your son and daughters. Jehovah said that. It means this kind of sacrifice have been done from long time ago. Till today, there are some brothers and sisters out there, they're still doing the same ritual. Going over in the rivers, in the lakes on the fires and the sacrificing they are beloved mysteriously due to some earth powers some money you know there are so many brothers and sisters in different groups of a certain doing those things and they feel thinking to be right by killing their relatives get my point well i'm not here to attack you or to point fingers at you or to provoke you but i'm just uh, bringing this help this help in front of you so you may see it's important and quit some uh, groups which are useless you know there is some groups when you keep uh, following the ideology 
the rules, the principles of those groups, and you will end up in hell. So, open your ears, as I said. We are speaking about uh, what God detests. What God is angry at. What God, Jehovah, doesn't like. You know, you heard the scripture. God detests those kinds of sacrifices. You know, your presence in some groups, your presence in some groups, like a certain group, you know, you're worshipping uh, something which is detested by God, maybe an idol, a statue. You see, I'm not, as I said, I'm not attacking you. I'm not provoking you. I'm not judging you. Just I'm helping you. We know exactly uh, we have one God who is Jehovah. And this, the God that I'm talking to is not a Niger. He's a living God. You know, and he wish me and you to continue worshiping him in spirit and in the truth. Thank you so very much, as you get my point well. So, he doesn't allow me and you to consult the dead. According to the scripture, look here. You are going to the graveyard. You are going to consult the dead. For what for? God is there. Jehovah is there. 24 hours is around you. When you speak to him, he hear you. So, is he direct you to go to the graveyard of uh, your your parents to talk to them about your problem so they may come to help you is a question are your parents angels of protection or angel of a blessing or angel of a, a good news are your parents the angel of good news or, or protection or blessings so that you are going to you going mostly consulting them, telling them your problems for what for. Remember something. Let me uh, uh, help you again here. We all know that God created everything here on earth. What we call today demons were created by God. They were angels, not the demons. They are demons. Today, because they disobeyed God. This is why they are demons. He threw them down on the ground. This is why they are demons. They disobeyed. He threw them here on the ground. They were created as angels. Not as a demon. As angels. After disobeying God and threw them down here now they are demons you see now we as a human being we were also created as a human being with this body here the heavy body that you see as a human being sir I don't now know why you just now go to them when they die and start now to make them angels because uh, they were not created as an angel they were created as a human being which will die with a, a period of living on earth and another time of living after death but angels were created to live forever they are not dying. They are there forever and ever. Since the creation, the angel will be created and they're still living. They don't die like as a human being. So this way now, over transforming a dead person to an angel, what do you see? What do you think? He died. He's there waiting for judgment in other worlds. The dead worlds. 
But the angel is still there. So, let's not confusing uh, things in life. And we come to find ourselves in the trouble. There are some spirit that you're going to link, to join, to call. And uh, bring problem into your life, into our life. You go to call some uh, spirit who, uh, which you don't understand. Remember, there is there is a world that you will living, and the other mysterious worlds, whereby most spirits are living there. You know. As we don't see them by our eyes, this normal eyes, but they are there, they are living in those worlds. So, when you go into call something, names with uh, some people, they left you. So, these uh, as a spirit can hear and come to find place in you, in your body, and they start to ill treat you. Start to cause a problem into your life. Then you'll be uh, thinking that you were cursed, but you the one bring a problem to you. You are bringing the problem to you by consulting some spirit which you don't understand. You don't know exactly how they operate. They are not even useful into your life. Remember, we have uh, the spirit of Christ Jesus. For our help and we are the temple we are the temple of god that spirit may live may continue living in us the holy spirit may continue living in us when he's living in us he himself living so don't call us a spirit to find place in you because the holy spirit is so powerful himself a prayer himself a powerful to he can do everything he wants in your life. In your lives. In our lives. He can do everything we want. Him the comforter. Him the solution to the problem that we're facing. So, I don't see the need over. Some brothers and sisters to call or to join demons or to join devil or to join some uh, jinns, jabar. So many types of uh, demons in the world. Don't call them. They will never help as you think. We are talking about a good help which linked to the kingdom of God. But when they come to you and they link you to the kingdom of a certain, is that a help? While you're going to be uh, burnt in a fire? That is not a help. The scripture telling me and you to not go into mediums. These spirits are working with mediums. They are working with a wizard. You know, the demons you hear, what I'm saying, what I mean to you, they are working with a wizard. They are working with mediums. Because mediums and them are connecting together. As well, they're rejecting the Holy Spirit. Get me well. Wizard, mediums, witches, they are working with these demons. They are linking together, operating together. As a me and you, we are in Christ Jesus. We are working with angels. The Bible is directing me and you that we can command angels to do what we want. Them to do what we want. You know, we can command them to do what we want. This is how also the mediums, the wizards, the witches are also linking with the demons. So when you're going to consult them or when you're joining them, when you're going to them for help, they're going to use the same demon, asking them about your life, this and that. You know, 
They can bring what they're going to bring to you. But it's not the help that I'm talking about right now. They can come and stay and live in you. It's not just to help you, direct you to go in heaven. No. Just help on this earth. Which when you die, you're going that this other side, waiting for judgment. And they remember, when you die dirty, when you die in sin, when you die in the wrong way, you see, there is a direction to where? To hell. My dear brothers and sisters, as I said, I am not coming here to point the fingers, to judge you brothers and sisters or friends. I'm here just to bring you help. If you understand this help, these teachings, just to share with other brothers and sisters, it's very helpful, you know, so that some brothers may stop going to call it the spirit which they don't know. I wrote it in the book called uh, Born to Light Africa. I published uh, at Amazon from uh, 2015, December 2015. This book is also helpful because uh, I explain a lot about the danger of some spirit in our life. When the demons are coming to stay among people, mostly they will can torment you, they will curse you, they will they will bring trouble into marriage, into business, into your life. Look, there are some marriage today are broken, not by the will of her, the people or of, of, of the merits, it can be pushed by the demons. Demon frustrates a husband or a wife to be more anger, to be more complicated in relationship in marriage, to be more confused. Demon can create a rivalry between two couple. Demons can create a rivalry between uh, couple, confusion, hate between two couple, and they start to hate each other. They become they angry with each other, fighting the most because here there are demons who compl which complicating things. In their middle, their middle side, there is a demon that are standing there, pushing them to do wrong thing to each other. There are some things that people are doing not by their human minds or their will. They are pushed by some spirit to do what they're doing. So this is why I am all again and again warning you to call some spirit which you don't understand how they operate and how they are danger into your life. You know, so many things happening in lives of so many people. You're going to apply a job here and there and you don't pass. Because of what? Because of something that you joined and you don't respect their rules. You know, everything, when you go into everything, Learn the rules of uh, those words. If you don't respect them, they will make your life miserable. This is how things are. You are joining demons, respect their rules. When you don't understand what they're telling you, maybe via the dreams, maybe via the visions, they will come to you in the dreams and telling you what they want. If you're joining them, and they want you to uh, maybe to sacrifice maybe your parents, your your daughters, maybe your sisters, maybe your your, your sons for their benefit, and you deny it. They will complicate everything. The Bible is clear. Don't sacrifice your 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 son, your daughters. If you keep receiving the messages like that from a demon while you're dreaming while uh, in visions my dear brother find some pastors 
That is how things starting to be hectic into your life. Find some pastors, some prophets to pray with you for deliverance. To take them out in your life. Because it's not good for you to sacrifice your parents, your mama, for example, your mama, your daddy, your uncles, your whatever, your relatives, to demons. Due to get money, and when you die, you're going to leave the money here. Due to get cars, houses, and when you die, you're going to leave everything here. You push yourself into doing some ritual just to get money, and when you die, you never, no one will bury you with all those things. The luxury thing that you, you gain from a demon that they push you to get, uh, they help you to get, but you'll die and leave everything here. You want to live a, a bourgeoisie life here while you're living. You want to live a, a very good life in that way, uh, cooperating with demons or, or with satanists or whatever. But remember, when you die, you'll leave everything here. So what's useful for the, all those things? Why well, don't understand? wait for the time for the good time of god in your life the time of god is there for you to enjoy things of this world and you die well in christ jesus and you you go into to him inside you'll be reserved there that's what you have to think about every time and every moment is the bible telling me and you don't sacrifice your children your son and daughters it means these kind of sacrifice are demoniac and not of God. God detests. What God detests? Demon like. Because they need an opposition. Remember, as I told you, there were angels, they throw in here. So, as a God to them, whatever God like, this one will hurt. And whatever demon like, God hurts. So, where are you? Are you at the side of a demon, jinn, jabbar, or certain devil? Or are you at the side of a Christ Jesus, a spirit of a Christ Jesus, or Jehovah? You have to ask yourself a question. If you are at the side of a Christ Jesus, or at the side of a Jehovah, then follow what God like, and detest also what God detests, to be in peace with God. You know? There is some spirit which push people to be uh, in homosexuality. You know, people are there not because they like it. Some are there because they are pushed by, by a demon. They are possessed. Demons. A woman now is a lesbian. A woman, there is a demon of a man in him which is transforming him. Sorry, transforming her. To be a man. The feelings. That demon destroyed the feeling of a woman. To plant the feeling of a man. This is why when I see some women. Attending as a man. Or as a look them. The toy. The toy boy. They going to also. To. Uh, to find some girls here and there. Because the feelings. Demons are killing the feelings of a woman. And plant the feeling of a man. So the woman start to feel as a man. Start to do things as a man which is abomination according to the scripture listen here according to the bible it's abomination while you see women attending now to men and trying to sleep with the women while you see men attending to women and they start to sleep with men all these are the spirit that are pushing them to do all these things most people are possessed those kind of a demons in them and they start to do things which are detestable by God. My fellow brothers and sisters, this video here is not just an attack or an accusation. Don't feel guilty, my dear friends, and hurt the preacher, hurt the prophet. Just if you see you are touched. My dear, I pray you to meet some pastors to pray with them. So they may help you. What you're doing, it sounds good to you who are doing it. What about God? The one who created you. He created you a woman, not a man. He created you a man, not a woman. So when you allow as a man sleeping with you, what do you think?
when you allow as a woman sleeping with you, look at that. There is a man here and there is a woman. Men and women. These are the ones to be couple. Men and the woman. Not a man to man. Not a woman to woman. God created a man. A man and a woman to come together. To multiply. As a creatures. So when a man and a man coming together, what is there, the result of it? Are they uh, bringing a child on earth? When a woman and a woman are combining together, sleeping together, or doing whatever they're gonna do, are they reproducing? Are they reproducing also to your children? But the reason of a man and a woman to be together is to reproduce, to multiply the creatures. To bring us a new creatures here. Children. This is why to God like that. A child is a gift. So when you men and men are sleeping together. What a gift not bringing. What are you bringing on earth here? This is why God said it's an it abomination. It abomination to sleep man to man, woman to woman. Remember, if you start to feel that that you are a woman and uh, there is a feeling of a man in you, you, you see, remember that you are connected now to the other world, demoniac world, dark world. Say, look the pastors quick as possible. Go to the prophet quick. Uh, Find apostles who are around you there. Go there. They may pray with you. They may pray for you. So that those demons may come out. They may drive out those demons. That's uh, over. Those demons that are, are possessing. That you're possessing. The demon of uh, homosexuality. Already in you there. You're possessing them already. So they are. Starting to transform you as early as possible, reach the church. Go to the servant of God to pray with you. So they may take them out. There is some dreams where you're going to start to dream, looking yourself, eating, uh, flying, this and that. There is some dream where you're not going to understand well and you are already joined the witch, uh, witch, witch world. <laughs> you are already in a dark world. They are starting to train you how to do things. You will come to find yourself dedicating your parent or whatever in, in witchery. Give them to witch. The Bible is clear. You don't practice witch, witchcraft. Going to find some trees to come and kill other people. You know, I don't say that the use of uh, some plants is an abomination or is a sin. On, you can use some for medication for food as as we were created for food for medication